Uh, you're not going to believe this, but the single number one maintenance error is fasteners left undone or incomplete. This occurs about 22% of the time in incident reports according to Boeing's maintenance error decision aid investigations. Talk. Fasteners fastened. Pieces in the sky staying together as intended. Tight is a concept, and you may think you've cranked the ratchet till the nut is tight in the bolt, but a hunch or a guess or just a feeling that the fastener is tight doesn't relieve you of responsibility for complying with procedures and specifications. Close ain't good enough. Besides guessing or sensing torque tightness, another common error is simply putting fasteners on finger tight as mere placeholders, then forgetting to do the final tightening. This video is based on Boeing's BAC 5009 standard governing significant quality attributes of bolt and nut installation. This standard can be viewed on screen or printed by clicking the student guide button on the lower left of your screen. If the Boeing company devotes 35 pages to describing aircraft nuts and bolts and the holes these fasteners go through, you can bet your boots that aircraft fasteners are important to flight safety and aircraft integrity. We'll be taking a look at hole quality, metal strength and bolt strength designations, types of torque wrenches, safety wiring practices, and torque conversion formulas to handle the use of wrench extensions and such. But first, some case studies. Loose fasteners have been a plague on mechanical devices since they were first invented. Stationary and static fasteners hold pretty consistently, but fasteners in dynamic environments, which includes vibration, rotation, temperature extremes, pressure extremes, and fluctuating loads, these fasteners need special attention to assure that they are properly torqued. Too much torque and the material surrounding the fastener is stressed, and too much torque also stresses the material in the bolt. Too little torque and the fastener is not secure and can easily fail over time. Under tightening results in excessive wear to the hardware as well as the parts being joined. The best way to avoid improper torque is to use a torque wrench. FAA Advisory Circular 43-13 presents a table of torque values for nuts and bolts. It shows fine thread and coarse thread series with a minimum and maximum torque limit in inch pounds. In the 1960s, Gerhard Juncker began testing fasteners with the primary goal to improve fasteners for aircraft applications. To do his testing, he devised a transverse vibration test machine typically called a Junker machine. The machine tests the fastener's resistance to self-loosening. Remember the challenges to fasteners in a dynamic environment? Vibration, rotation, temperature extremes, pressure extremes, and fluctuating loads? All of these apply heavily to aircraft fasteners. Constant long-term harmonic vibrations, rotations in many reciprocating parts, vast temperature, pressure, and load extremes. Aircraft are second only to spacecraft in pushing the limits of fasteners, as these examples from a Junkers machine demonstrate. One area that seems to confuse most mechanics is the use of torque wrench adapters and extensions, including crow's feet. There is a simple formula. Correction equals the length of the wrench divided by the length of the wrench plus the length of the adapter. In this example, a 10 inch wrench is fitted with a 2 inch adapter in order to reach in a tight or confined space, and the desired torque spec is 100 inch pounds. So the wrench length, 10 inches, plus the adapter length, 2 inches, is added to get 12. The wrench length, 10 inches, is divided by that total, 12 inches which results in 0.833. Multiply the desired target spec, 100 and 0.833, and the result is 83.33 inch pounds. 
So if the spec calls for 100 inch pounds and you are using a 10 inch wrench with a 2 inch adapter, you must strive to torque the fastener to 84 inch pounds on the indicator to effectively reach 100 inch pounds.